Police say the smell of marijuana was so strong they could smell it outside of the car on a busy highway. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Matt Belanger. Janelle Hall has the day off. Two Steeler running backs are facing a marijuana charge today, and now we're waiting to see what action the team and the league might take. Here's Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Amber Nakotra. This is where Ross Township Police pulled over that car and where they say they found the marijuana. They were here for several hours and it all happened right near these shops. Several people witnessed it. They said police were here for hours, but at the time, they were unaware that at the center of the investigation were two key players for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I heard that there were two Steelers and I was like, oh my God, and they played tonight. How sad. Steelers running backs, Le'Veon Bell and LeGarrette Blunt, have people talking not about tonight's game against the Eagles, but rather for what they're accused of doing off the field. A Ross Township police officer pulled the pair over yesterday afternoon when he smelled marijuana and saw smoke coming from the car. Bell, police say, was driving, Blunt in the passenger seat. Police say they found a medium sized bag of marijuana in the center console that the players allegedly admitted was theirs. When I got and parked, I seen there was two police officers and a canine unit and two vehicles parked there behind me on the entrance coming in. Linda Mega works in these shops and like many people in this plaza saw the police activity, unaware at the time who was inside the car. The Steelers released a statement saying they're still gathering information but have no comment. Bell is in his second season with the team, Blunt in his first. If convicted, the two could be subject to NFL policy, which means they could be suspended and leave their fans disappointed. Very shocked that it was the Steelers. I mean, they should know better. The paperwork has not yet been filed, and police say they will have to wait for the lab results to determine if Bell will face an additional charge of driving under the influence of marijuana. In Ross Township, I'm Amber Nicotra, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Okay, Steeler Nation, we know you want to talk about this. Be sure to weigh in on WTAE's Facebook page, and you can also find more of our coverage about this on our website, WTAE.com. And this news all